Hello guys, this is Vaish. Today is uh, Monday, February 13th and uh, we'll do history discussion and uh, this will be a mix of history questions like uh, ancient, medieval, modern and all and it's taken mostly from NCRTs this time. So please see to that you are watching every episode and uh, if you are a 23 aspirant, these four videos are mandatorily to be watched. This will tell you what is OTR, this will tell you how to fill a form from first to last and this will tell you what is the OBC non-creamy certificate and all the doubts regarding that is solved in one single video. Okay, and if you are seriously looking to clear this exam, there is a 111 day timetable which started on February 6 and it will go till May 28 and every day you can sit and study as we tell you and you will ideally clear the prelims. Okay. So you can watch these videos and get back to us in WhatsApp. If you are 24, 25 aspirant, please watch the foundation videos because that will give you an insight about what is exactly UPSC and then later you will not find any difficulty in clearing this exam. Okay. So please uh, practice the right way so that no one can stop you from clearing UPSC. So this is the WhatsApp number and there we'll take up the mentorship. Question number one, which of the following are true? Mahmud Ghasni was the first Muslim ruler to invade the subcontinent. Alim refers to Muslim slaves. So these are mentioned in your NCRT. Neither one or two, one only, two only, both one and two. Which of the following are true? So here the answer will be A, neither one or two because it is not Mahmud Ghasni and this is not Muslim slaves. So here if you see in 7, 711 AD, an Arab general named Muhammad Qasim conquered the Sindh region. Okay, so that is also part of the subcontinent. Subcontinent means India, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Sri Lanka, everything is together called the subcontinent. Ulama, plural of Alim or one who knows, are scholars of Islamic study. Okay, they are not Muslim slaves, they are scholars of Islamic study. As preservers of this tradition, they perform various religious, uh, ju uh, juridical and teaching functions. Muslim rulers were to be guided by the ulama who were expected to ensure that they ruled according to the Sharia law governing the Muslim community based on the Quran and Hadith traditions of the Prophet. With the expansion of Islamic rule outside Arabia, in areas where customs and traditions were different, qiyas, that is reasoning by analogy, and ijma, conscience of the community, were recognized as two other sources of legislation. Thus, the Sharia evolved from the Quran, Hadith, qiyas, and ijma. So these are different things which they referred or the scholars uh, asked the rulers to refer to uh, spread this uh, Ara uh, Islamic rule outside Arabia. Okay, so this Qiyas, Ijma, uh, Ulma, Alim, these are the terms which UPC can ask you in future because NCRT thing can be asked any time in future. So please note it down. Okay. According to Vijayanagara traditions, who were called the Ashwapatis or the Lord of Horses? This is also there in your NCRT. Rulers of Arisa, Aryans, Rayas, Deccan Sultans. So, which who were called the Ashwapatis or the Lord of Horses. So, if uh, already whatever coaching you are following and all is teaching you these things, then it is fine. But if not, please uh, make a shift immediately. Okay. Because every word in NCRT is important and I don't know how many coachings are teaching you that properly. So, here answer is D, the Deccan Sultans. So, this is the Vijayanagara story. Two brothers, Harihara and Bukka, founded the Vijayanagara or the Raya Empire in 1336. Okay, you would have heard like Krishna Deva Raya and all, right? That is from Vijayanagara Kingdom. On their northern frontier, the Vijayanagara kings competed with contemporary rulers, including the Sultan of Deccan, the Gajapati rulers of Orissa, for control of the fertile river valleys. Okay, the Tungabhadra river and all is there, uh, which is a tribute of Krishna. Uh, resources generated by lucrative overseas trade. At the same time, interaction between these states led to sharing of ideas, especially in the field of architecture. The rulers of Vijayanagara borrowed concepts and building techniques which they then developed further. The empire is sometimes referred to as Karnataka Samrajyamu. Okay, so this is the nam, uh, name referring to Vijayanagara Empire. Gajapati literally means Lord of Elephant. Okay, but this question is about Lord of Horses. Okay, so Lord of Elephant is actually Orissa. The name, uh, this was the name of a ruling lineage that was very powerful in Orissa in the 15th century AD. Okay, in the powerful traditions of Vijayanagara, the Deccan Sultans were termed as Ashwapati or Lord of Horses and the Rayas were called Narapati or Lord of Men. Okay, so I'm um, asking the following if they ask Lord of the Men, Lord of uh, Elephant, Lord of Horses, you should know like it is uh, Vijayanagara or the Rayas, then the Orissa or Gajapatis and the Deccan Sultan as Ashupatis. Okay. Ruling elites in these areas, that is uh, Cholas and Hoysalas, had extended patronage to elaborate temples such as Bhardeshara Temple at Tanjavur and Chennakeshara Temple at Belur. Okay, in Karnataka. Belur is in Karnataka and Tanjavur is in Tamil Nadu. The trade was initially controlled by Arab traders, local communities and merchants known as 
குதிரை செட்டீஸ் ஆர் ஹார்ஸ் மர்ச்சன்ஸ் ஆல்சோ பார்ட்டிசிபேட்டட் இன் தீஸ் எக்ஸ்சேஞ்சஸ் ஓகே ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் ஹார்ஸ் மர்ச்சன்ஸ் ஓகே கொஸ்டின் நம்பர் த்ரீ முசாரியன் ஆஸ் பர் முகல் ரெக்கார்ட்ஸ் ரெஃபர்ஸ் டு ஸ்லேவ் ஸ்கிரைப் ப்ரீஸ்ட் பீசண்ட் ஸோ திஸ் அகெயின் இஸ் மென்ஷன்ட் இன் யுவர் ஸ்பெக்ட்ரம் ஆல்சோ அண்ட் இன் என்சிஆர்டி ஆல்சோ ஸோ ஹியர் த ஆன்சர் வில் பி டி பீசண்ட் the term which indo persian sources of mughal period most frequently used to denote a peasant was rayat that is plural of uh, raya or muzarin okay later you would hear the rayat tari system and all in uh, british days and also that rayat everything okay that all words are referring to peasant or farmer okay rayat raya muzarin in addition also encounter the term kisan or asami okay that also is for farmers sources of the 17th century refers to two kinds of peasants okay one is khud kashta and pahi kashta okay this also they can ask so this is all the two types of peasants the farmer that is the khud kashta were residents of the villages in which they held their land okay khud meaning in their own uh, village they have their land the latter were that is a pahi kashta were non resident cultivators who belonged to some other village but cultivated lands elsewhere on a contractual basis people become pahi kashta either out of choice for example when terms of revenue in a distant village were more favorable like you see you know, now also migration is there people from like bihar bengal and all is coming down to kerala tamil nadu and doing works so based on where you get favorable income favorable wages and all they will travel to another place and do they don't want to work on their own land they want to work in some other place okay that is own choice or maybe it can be out of compulsion for example forced by economic distress meaning their place there is nothing happening or it's full economic disasters so they will feel like we will go and do somewhere else okay where conditions are better question number 4 which mughal ruler said the following jungles provided a good defense behind which the people of the paragana become stubbornly rebellious and pay no taxes okay paragana means a kind of district kind of a sub unit okay become stubbornly rebellious and pay no taxes who told this which mughal ruler told this akbar babar jahangir or shah jahan So you know the order also chronology babar came first then his son is akbar then his son is jahangir then shah jahan then after that aurangzeb then after that there are series of rulers who were not very popular but uh, we have taught you in spectrum series okay so here who told about jungles answer is b babar the first uh, mogal ruler 1526 was his timeline for the state the forest was a subversive subversive place a place of refuge or mawas for trouble makers okay whoever want to hide and all they go and hide in the forest they, as that's what they told once again we turn to babar who said that jungles provide a good defense behind which the people of the paragana become stubbornly rebellious and pay no taxes meaning people are hiding there people are very arrogant people don't pay their taxes that's what babar told about such people so forest and tribal life in ncert tells lot of things the spread of commercial agriculture was an important external factor that impinged on the lives of those who lived in the forest so forest producers you know honey is bee waxes gum lac all were in great demand lohanis in the punjab were engaged in overland trade between india and afghanistan and in town country trade in punjab itself so these are different type of people in the forest okay now tribes in the sindh region had armies then assam we had the ahom kings and their pikes okay people who were obliged to render military services in exchange of land that is pike okay capture of wild elephants was declared a royal monopoly by the ahoms then there is coach kings fought and subjugated a number of neighboring tribes in a long sequence of wars through the 16th and 17th century then there is sufi saints or the pirs played a major role in slow acceptance of islam among agriculture communities emerging in the new colonized places so this is a, a lifestyle going on there in forest and tribal area in different sites okay punjab sindh assam region then this uh, coach kings are there and then there is sufi saint who went and tried to spread their uh, teachings and all question number 5 which of the following is true the direct action day happened after the failure of cabinet mission mahatma gandhi did not participate in the festivities at the capital on august 15 1947 a bunch of old letters was published by nehru so options 1 2 3 2 only 1 only none of these so recently there was a question the songs of prison was by which uh, national which uh, national uh, sorry which uh, person okay which freedom fighter or which person so that time answer was mahatma gandhi okay now we are asking a similar question bunch of old letters so upsc is asking these things so take these things seriously okay and it's directly written in your ncerts and standard books so here answer is 1 2 3 okay so timeline you should know 1946 we had the cabinet mission where three people came in and failed to get the congress and the league that is muslim league to agree on a federal system 
that would keep India together while allowing the provinces a degree of autonomy. So whatever cabinet mission proposed, we rejected it. Okay, that was there in no spectrum modern history I taught you. After the talks broke down, Jinnah called for direct action day to press the leagues, Muslim leagues demand for Pakistan. On the designated day, 16th August 1946, bloody riots broke out in Calcutta. Okay, it's also called Calcutta killings where many people, Hindu Muslims have killed each other. Okay, so Jinnah only started this. So the violence spread to rural Bengal, then to Bihar, then across the country in United Province, that is UP of that time, and the Punjab. Mahatma Gandhi was not present in the festivities. He was in Calcutta, but he did not attend any function or hoist the flag there either. Gandhiji marked the day with a 24-hour fast. The freedom he had struggled so long had come at an unacceptable price where the nation divided and Hindus and Muslims at each other's throats. Congress had never accepted the two-nation theory, forced against its will to accept partition. It still believed that India is a land of many religions, many races and must remain so. Mahatma Gandhi regularly published his journal Harijan, letters that others wrote to him. Nehru edited a collection of letters written to him during the national movement and published the bunch of old letters. Then socialists who worked with Nehru after 1928 are these people, okay, J.P. Narayan, Narendra Dev, N.G. Ranga. Worried by Nehru's socialistic rhetoric, the conservatives led by Rajendra Prasad and Sardar Vallabhai Patel threatened to resign from the working committee. And some prominent industrialists in Bombay issued a statement attacking Nehru. Gandhi acted as a mediator at Varda and resolved issues between Nehru and Patel. So this is just a story which they have given in NCRT. Okay. So we did the five questions for today. Please practice maximum questions. We offer a twice highest 10,000 plus MCQs and that will cover entire thing. All the textbooks, Spectrum, Mara Sharma, Satish Chandra, Nitin Singhania, Tamil Nadu textbooks, NCRTs. And for mains test series, we'll cover the world histories also. So study according to timeline, study what is important. We have 16 tests for history, which I have categorized into different small, small packages if you want. Like if you are weak in Spectrum, if you are weak in Arasharma, because I know everybody will not read every textbook. So if you do our MCQs alone, right, you will cover a lot of things. And all these, there are free lectures also. That's the plus point. Free lectures are there in my channel, all of these things. So please make use of YCIS and double your score. Okay, I want all my students to score 100 plus marks in prelims. And that will happen if you study sincerely from YCIS. Is. okay so we'll come up with the next episode 23 students please fill your form correctly i'll come up tomorrow thank you and have a nice day